Hello students, welcome back. We are doing algebra exercise 13b, questions 4 and 5 and we are doing addition and the method that we are following is the row method. So let's begin. Exercise 13b is on page number 151. We are with question 4 addition and in this video I am going to show you the row method. There is another method called the column method which I have already done in another video. So we're going to do the row method. Question 1, we have two expressions a plus b and 2a plus 3b. Now how do we do the row method? In the first step, we're going to write these two expressions in a single row. So let's begin. So I'm going to write a plus b and I'm going to put this in brackets and I'm going to write the second expression 2a plus 3b and since this is addition, I'm going to put a plus sign. So this is the first step. We're going to write both the expressions within brackets and with a plus sign because it is addition. In the second step, we're going to remove the brackets and we're not going to change the sign of any term because we have plus signs there, isn't it? So before the bracket, we have a plus sign. So there's no need to change any sign. So let's open the brackets and we're going to write. So the first one is a plus b plus next one is 2a plus 3b. In the next step, we're going to take the like terms. What are like terms? Terms that have the same variable or the literal coefficient. Here, I'm going to take all the a's together. So I have 1a here and a there also. And I'm going to put both those together. So this is a plus 2a. So I've grouped it. Now I can take the b's together and write. So here I have one b here and another here. So let's write that. So that is b plus 3b. Now we can add the like terms. So here the first a has a plus sign before it and there's no number so it's understood it's 1. Similarly here b also it is 1. Now let's add up the numbers here. So 1 plus 2 is 3. We can only add like terms so 3a. So and the other one is 1 plus 3 4 that is 4b. So this is 3a plus 4b. So let me explain the row method once again. Now we have two expressions. Put both those expressions in a single row with brackets and a plus sign between them. In the next step, remove the brackets. Don't change the sign of any term inside the brackets. Write it as it is. So we've removed the brackets. In the next step, we arrange the like terms together. So we took the a's together, then we took the b's together, and then we worked out a and b because we can only add like terms. So this is 3a plus 4b. Question 2, 2x plus y and 3x minus 4y. In the first step, we're going to put both these expressions in a single a row. So let's do that. So that is 2x plus y and we're going to put brackets, put a plus sign because it's addition and the other expression also within brackets, 3x minus 4y. In the next step, you're going to open the brackets and write all the terms as it is without changing the sign. 2x plus y plus 3x minus 4y. So we've got all our terms here. Now we're going to arrange the like terms together. We have 2x plus 3x. So let's write that. 2x plus 3x. Now let's take the y's. Here we have plus y and minus 4y. So that is plus y minus 4y. Now let's work out the x together. So 2x plus 3x. Add up the numbers. 2 plus 3 is 5. So this is 5x. Now let's go to the y's. Here we have y minus 4y. So this is 1. But here can you see the signs are different. Here we have a plus sign and here we have a minus sign. When signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number minus and subtract 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. So that is minus 3y. So our answer here is 5x minus 3y. Question 3. Here we have again two expressions minus 3a plus 2b and 3a plus b. Let's put them in a single row within brackets. Minus 3a plus 2b and then put the plus sign. Then we have 3a plus b. Now we're going to open the brackets without changing any sign. Minus 3a plus 2b plus 
3a plus b. Now here 3a, there's no sign before it. Whenever there's no sign before a number, it's understood it's plus. That's how I've written plus here. Now, in the next step, you're going to take the like term. So I'm, I'm taking minus 3a and plus 3a. So that will be minus 3a plus 3a. First, let's write it together. So we have minus 3a plus 3a. Now let's take the b's together. Here we have plus 2b and plus b. So that is plus 2b plus b. So we put the like terms together. Now let's solve this. So here minus 3 plus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So this will get cancelled. So we don't have an a. Now let's go to the b's. 2b plus 1b. 2 plus 1 is 3. So our answer here is 3b. So we don't have any a and what is left is just 3b which is our final answer. Question 4. Here we have three expressions. So we're going to put it all in a single row. So let's write that within brackets. We have 4 plus x plus the next one is 5 minus 2x. Then we have plus 6x. Now we're going to open the brackets, remove the brackets without changing the sign of any term inside. So 4 plus x plus 5 minus 2x plus 6x. Now we're going to take the like terms and put them together. So here can you see constants or numbers without any variable attached to it? So they are by themselves. So let's take only the numbers. We have 4 and 5. That is 4 plus 5. Now let's look at all the x terms. So here I have plus x minus 2x plus 6x. Let's write them all together. Plus x minus 2x plus 6x. Okay, so let's work on the like terms. 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. Now the x terms. Let's take all the x terms together. Remember this is 1x here. I'm going to do this in the working column. So that is 1x minus 2x plus 6x. Take only the numbers. That is 1 minus 2 plus 6 and put an x outside. Now here I'm going to take the numbers with the same sign. Now 1 here will have a plus sign. So 1 and 6 have the same sign, isn't it? So when signs are the same, we put the same sign and we add 1 plus 6 is 7. Then we have minus 2 x. Now here Signs are different. So put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 7 minus 2, that is 5, plus 5x. So let's write this here. x to 9, 9 plus 5x. So this is our answer, 9 plus 5x. Question 5, find the sum of. So here we have three polynomials. So we're going to arrange them in a row first. So let's begin. So this will be 3x plus 8y plus 7z, now we're going to put it in brackets, plus 6y plus 4z minus 2x plus 3y minus 4x plus 6z. Okay, this is the first step. Now we're going to remove the brackets, 3x plus 8y plus 7z. We're going to remove the brackets and not change the sign. So plus 6y plus 4z minus 2x plus 3y minus 4x plus 6z. Now in the next step, we're going to take all the like terms together. So here we have 3x. Let's look for all terms which have x as the variable. So 3x then we have minus 2x and minus 4x. So let's write these like terms together. 3x minus 2x minus 4x. Now let's look for the y terms. So 8y plus 6y plus 3y. So let's write that. So that is plus 8y plus 6y plus 3y. Now let's go on to the next one. That is z. 7z plus 4z plus 6z. So let's write that down. Plus 7z plus 4z plus 
six z okay so we have written everything now we're going to work on the like terms so here we have 3x minus 2x minus 4x let's work it out here 3x minus 2x minus 4x we are only going to take the numbers now so 3 minus 2 minus 4x now here we're going to take the numbers with the same sign that is we're going to take minus 2 minus 4 so this will remain the same as plus 3 now minus 2 minus 4 signs are the same put the same sign and add 2 plus 4 that is 6 this is x now here signs are different plus 3 and minus 6 so put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 6 minus 3 is 3 minus 3x so here we have got minus 3x now let's take these like terms with y so that will be 8y plus 6y plus 3y now here they're all additions all we have to do is simply add 8 plus 6 is 14 14 plus 3 is 17 so this is 17y so let's write that down and that's a plus sign because all signs are plus plus 17y next let's take all the z terms and check that now here also as you can see the signs are all plus so we can do the addition here itself 7 plus 4 is 11 11 plus 6 is 17 so that is 17 z so what is the final answer minus 3x plus 17y plus 17 z question 2 again we have three polynomials here we're going to put them into a single row so let's begin 3a plus 5b plus 2c okay so put them into a single row put the plus sign go to the next one 2a plus 3b minus c close brackets plus a plus b plus c close brackets next step remove the brackets write all the terms as it is 3a plus 5b plus 2c plus 2a plus 3b minus c plus a plus b plus c next step we're going to arrange all like terms together so let's take all the a's 3a plus 2a plus a so let's write that down all the a's together 3a plus 2a plus a now let's go to the b's we have 5b so and we have plus 3b we have plus b let's write that down so that is 5b plus 3b plus b now let's look at the c's plus 2c minus c plus c so let's write that plus 2c minus c plus c now we have to take all these like terms together and work it out so let's do it now since it's addition here we can do it here itself can you see it's all addition there's no minus sign here so we can add it up here that is 3 plus 2 take only the numbers 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 so this is 6a plus let's go to the next one now here also can you see it's all addition so we can add it up here itself now this one we'll give it 1 now let's add the numbers 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 so that is 9 b so we've got 9 b now let's work out the c's together so here we have plus 2 c minus 1 c plus 1 c now look carefully minus 1 and plus 1 minus 1 and plus 1 is equal to 0 that means these two will get cancelled so what is left we have only plus 2 c left which we can write here plus 2 c so what is our final answer 6 a plus 9 b plus 2 c Question 3. Here we have two expressions. So let's write that down in a single row. So that is 4x to the power of 2 plus 8xy minus 2y square in brackets. Plus, let's write the next expression 8xy minus 5y square plus x square. Close brackets. Next step, open all the brackets. 4x square plus 8xy minus 
2y square, don't change the sign, plus 8xy minus 5y square plus x square. Now look out for all the like terms. We have 4x square here and we have one more x square there. So let's write that down. So that is 4x square plus x square. Then let's look out for the xy's. Here we have 8xy plus 8xy and one more plus 8xy. So let's write that. 8xy plus 8xy. Now let's look at the next one that is minus y square. So this is y square and this is also y square. It's minus 5y square. So minus 2y square minus 5y square. Now all the like terms are together, we can work it out easily. So here, this will have 1. So now let's work this out. 4 plus 1. We are only looking at the numbers. 4 plus 1 is 5. And then we write x square. Let's go to the next one. Now here we have xy, like terms xy and xy. And it's plus. So add up these numbers. 8 plus 8 is 16 xy. Now let's go to the y's here, minus 2, minus 5. When signs are the same, put the same sign and add these two numbers. 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 y square. So what is our final answer? 5x square plus 16xy minus 7 y square. Question 4, here we have 1, 2 and 3 expressions. Let's write them down in the single row within brackets. 9x square minus 6x plus 7 plus 5 minus 4x again plus 6 minus 3x square. This is the first step. Second step, we are going to remove all the brackets, write all the terms as it is. Don't change the sign. 9x square minus 6x plus 7 plus 5 minus 4x plus 6 minus 3x square. Now in the next step, we're going to put the like terms together. So here we have 9x square. Do we have another x square anywhere? Yes, we have minus 3x square. Let's write that down. So this will be 9x square minus 3x square. Okay. Now let's look for minus for the x term. So this is minus 6x. Then we have minus 4x. Okay, so let's write that down. So we have minus 6x minus 4x. Then we have some constants, that means numbers. So 7 plus 5 plus 6. That also we can write down. So that will be 7 plus 5 plus 6. Now we can work on the like terms. So here we have 9x square minus 3x square. Signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 9 minus 3 is 6. So that is 6x square. Let's go to the next set of like terms. Here we have minus 6x minus 4x. Signs are the same. So we put the same sign and we add the numbers. 6 plus 4 is 10, 10x. Now let's go to the next set. Here it's only constants and they're all plus signs. So we have to simply add 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18 and the sign is plus, plus 18. So what is our answer here? Plus 6x square minus 10x plus 18. Question 5, here we have three expressions. So let's put them all in a single row. Let's begin. So here we have 5x square minus 2xy plus 3y square plus minus 2x square plus 5xy plus 9y square plus 3x square minus xy minus 4y square. In the next step, we remove all the brackets. So this is 5x square minus 2xy plus 3y square. Then again, minus 2x square plus 5xy plus 9y square plus 3x square minus xy minus 4y square. In the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to put all the like terms together. 
So first let's begin with x square. So here we have an x square. Then we have a minus 2x square here. Then we have a plus 3x square there. Okay, so that's all. So let's write down all the x squares together. 5x square minus 2x square plus 3x square. Now let's take the xy's. So this is minus 2xy plus 5xy minus xy. So let's write them together. Minus 2xy. Then we have plus 5xy and minus xy. Now let's go on to the next one that is y squared 3y squared then we have plus 9y squared and minus 4y squared. Let's write that 3y squared plus 9y squared minus 4y squared. Now let's work out the like terms. So here we have all this. So what is it we have 5x squared minus 2x squared plus 3x squared. So we can work it out here itself. Okay, or you can take it to the working column separately if you want to do it. Okay, let's do it this way then to make it easier. 5x square minus 2x square plus 3x square. Now let's take only the numbers 5 minus 2 plus 3x square. Then what do we do here? We are going to take the numbers with the same sign. So 5 and 3. So put the same sign and add. Put the same sign there. That is a plus sign and 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 minus 2 and this is x square. So let's minus this. Signs are different. Put the same sign here and subtract. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. So 8 minus 2 is 6 plus 6 x square. So we finished with x square plus 6 or 6 x square. Now let's take all the x, y's together. So we have minus 2 x, y plus 5xy and we have minus xy. So this will be minus 1xy. Now let's take all the numbers minus 2 plus 5 minus 1xy. Now here I'm going to take the numbers with the same sign that is minus 2 and minus 1 have the same sign. So what am I going to do? I'm going to put the same sign and add 2 plus 1 is 3. Then I write the next number plus 5 x y signs are different now put the sign the bigger number and subtract 5 minus 3 this 2 x y so here we have plus 2 x y now let's go to the last term y square here let's write it down 3 y square plus 9 y square minus 4 y square take only the numbers 3 plus 9 minus 4 y square. Again here let's add up the numbers with the same sign. These two numbers have the same sign. 9 plus 3 is 12. Then we have minus 4 y square. 12 minus 4 is 8 8 y square. So let's write it there. So here it is a plus sign because 12 has a plus sign. So that will be plus 8 y square. So what is our final answer here? Final answer is 6x square plus 2xy plus 8y square. Question 6, here we have 1, 2 and 3 expressions. Let's put them all into a single row. So let's begin. So let's put them in brackets. So we have a square plus b square plus 2ab. Then we are adding, remember this is addition. 2b square plus c square plus 2bc close brackets again add write plus and then put brackets again open brackets 4c square minus a square plus 2ac close brackets now we're going to remove all brackets and the signs remain the same a square plus b square plus 2ab plus 2b square plus c square plus 2bc plus 4c square minus a square plus 2ac. Now we're going to look for the like term. So let's look for a square everywhere. a square is here. Then let's go ahead and see where we have a square again. We have minus a square. So let's write that down. So we have a square. This is plus. 
So let's write that plus a square and the other one is minus a square. Now let's look for b square. So b square, here we have plus 2b square. That's it. We don't have any more. So let's write that. So plus b square plus 2b square. Then let's see what's the next one that we have. We have ab. So 2ab. Then we have, that's it. We have only 1, 2ab. So let's write that plus 2ab. Then what is the next thing that we have? We have c square. So let's see if there's any other c square. So c square and here we have plus 4c square. So let's write that plus c square plus 4c square. Then what do we have next? We have 2bc. Do we have any more bc? No, that's it. We have only that. So let's write that down plus 2bc. And then the last one, what is left out? We have written everything except the last one that is plus 2ac, plus 2ac. Okay, so now let's find out the answers to all the like terms after working them out. So here we have plus 1a square and minus 1a square. Plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, so this gets cancelled. Now here we have b square, so this is 1, 1b one square plus 2b square. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So that is 3b square. Then what do we have? We have 2ab. Isn't it by itself? We have 2ab. So let's write that. That is plus 2ab. So let's write the single terms. So what is the next one here? Plus 2bc. Let's write that. Plus 2bc. Then we have one more term by itself. Plus 2ac. Plus 2ac. Now we take the c square. So here we have c square plus 4c square. This is 1. So 1 plus 4. Add up this. 1 plus 4 the numbers. That is 5. So 5c square. So what is the final answer? 3b square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac plus 5c square. Question 7. Again, here have, we have 1, 2 and 3 expressions here. Let's write it down in a single row. So that's 9ax minus 6bx plus 8. Put this in brackets. Plus, take the next expression, write it down. 4ax plus 8bx minus 7. Take the third expression, that is minus 6ax minus 4bx minus 3. Okay, now we're going to open the brackets. 9ax minus 6bx plus 8 plus 4ax plus 8bx minus 7. Then here we have a plus sign and here we have a minus sign. Remember when you remove the bracket, see the sign before that? If it's plus, no change. So no change in any of these signs. So that will be minus 6ax minus 4bx minus 3. Now take all the like terms together. So let's take the ax. Let's see if there's any other ax. Yes, plus 4ax and we have minus 6ax. So let's write that down. So that's 9ax plus 4ax minus 6ax. Now let's take bx. So minus 6bx plus 8bx minus 4bx. Okay, let's write that down. Minus 6bx plus 8bx minus 4bx. So we finished with bx. Now we have some whole numbers. So let's check the whole numbers. That is plus 8 minus 7 minus 3. So let's write that down. Plus 8 minus 7 minus 3. Okay, so now we are going to work out all the like terms. So here, what do we have? 9ax plus 4ax minus 6ax. Let's write that down. 9ax plus 4ax minus 6ax. Okay, let's take only the numbers. 9 plus 4 minus 6. And all this is ax. Now this is a plus sign. So add up the numbers with a plus sign. 9 plus 4. That is same sign. Add 13. 9 plus 4 is 13. Minus 6ax. So 13 
has a plus sign, 6 has a minus sign. When signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 13 minus 6 is 7. So that is 7ax. So here we have 7ax. Now let's take the bx. So we have bx here. Let's take the bx. That is, we'll write it down here. Minus 6bx plus 8bx and minus 4bx. So let's take only the numbers. Minus 6 plus 8 minus 4bx. Now we'll take the numbers which have the same sign. Minus 6 and minus 4. When signs are the same, put the same sign and add 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 8bx. Now here the signs are different. So let's put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 10 minus 8 is 2 minus 2bx. So let's write it down. Minus 2bx. Now let's take the constants or the whole numbers. So what do we have there? 8 minus 7 minus 3 and this is plus 8. So let's take the numbers with the same sign that is these two. So here we'll have plus 8 and here minus 7 minus 3 when signs are the same put the same sign and add 7 plus 3 is 10. Now signs are different put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 10 minus 8 is 2. So what do we have? Minus 2. So what is our answer here? 7ax minus 2bx minus 2. Question A, we have three expressions again. Now let's take it down carefully. Let's not miss out anything. So that's abc plus 2ba plus 3ac. Okay, so now we put the plus sign and we write this. 4ca minus 4ab plus 2bca. This is what is given to us. Plus, the next one is 2ab minus 3abc minus 6ac. Close brackets. Now, let's open the brackets. abc plus 2ba. Remember, ba and ab will be the same. Plus 3ac plus 4ca. ca and ac will be the same. Minus 4ab plus 2BCA. BCA and ABC will be the same. Plus 2AB minus 3ABC minus 6AC. Now let's look at all the like terms. We have ABC. Now let's look for ABC everywhere. See here we have 2BCA. It's the same as ABC because we have one letter of each. Then here we have minus 3ABC. So let's write down the like terms. 1abc plus 2, we'll write it as abc minus 3abc. Now let's look for ba, 2ba. Now let's look for ba. Remember ba and ab are the same. So here we have ab and here also we have ab. So let's write that down now. So that will be, let me write that in a different color so that you will be able to understand because we have many letters here. So 2BA will write it as AB, then minus 4AB, and then we have 2AB plus 2AB. So we have done that. Now let's go on to AC. So here we have 3AC, and here 4CA or AC is the same, and the last one minus 6AC. So here let's write down the ACs together, plus 3AC plus 4ac, ca, I'm writing it as ac, minus 6ac. Okay, so now let's begin. So here we're going to work out the like terms. So that is 1abc plus 2abc minus 3abc. So let's write this in brackets, only the numbers. 1 plus 2 minus 3 and all this is abc. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So this whole thing is equal to 0. So here we've got a 0. So we can just write that 0 there now. And later when you write your final answer, you don't have to write that 0 also. Now let's go on to the next one. This is AB. We're taking the ones, all the like terms with AB. So 2AB minus 4AB plus 2AB. 
So again, here we can write only the numbers 2 minus 4 plus 2 a b. So take the like terms, that is terms having the same sign and add it up. 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, so that's 4 minus 4 a b. 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 into a b is 0. So the whole thing is 0 again. So here also let's write plus 0. Now let's take the last set here. So here what do we have? 3 a c plus 4 a c minus 6 a c. Let's take only the numbers 3 plus 4 minus 6 a c. So again let's add up the numbers with the same sign. So here we have plus. So let's add up these two. So when signs are the same, put the same sign and add 3 plus 4, 7 minus 6 a c. So put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 7 minus 6 is 1, 1 a c. So here we have 0 plus 0 plus 1 a c. So our final answer will simply be 1 a c or a c. So the eighth answer is simply a c. This is our final answer. Next one, ninth one, here we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 expressions. So let's put it all into a single row uh, carefully. So we have 4a square plus 5b square minus 6ab. Okay, plus we have 3ab, that's by itself, so you don't have to put brackets, plus 6a square minus 2b square plus 4b square minus 5ab. So now let's remove the brackets. This is 4a square plus 5b square minus 6ab plus 3ab plus 6a square minus 2b square plus 4b square minus 5ab. Now we're going to look for the like terms. We have a square. Let's look again. Plus 6a square. So that's it. We only have 2, isn't it? Okay, so let's write that down. 4a square plus 6a square. Now let's look for the b squares. We have 5b square and we have minus 2b square. So let's write that down. Plus 5b square minus 2b square. Now let's look for a b. So here if we have minus 6ab plus 3ab and here if we go further we still have minus 5ab. Now before that children look carefully we have one more b square. So this is plus 4b square. Let's write it down. Let's not miss out anything. So let's write that down plus 4b square. So when you underline like this you'll know whether you have missed out something. So now let's take the ab's. Here we have ab and here also. So let's write that down, minus 6ab plus 3ab minus 5ab. Okay, so now we have entered everything, isn't it? Did we miss out anything? No, we have written everything. Now let's begin with the first one here. So let's do that, 4a square plus 6a square, both are plus signs. So when signs are the same, we put the same sign and we add. So add the numbers, 4 plus 6 is 10. So 10a square. Now let's go on to the next one that is b square. Let's write that down because there are three terms. So plus 5b square minus 2b square plus 4b square. Let's write only the numbers plus 5 minus 2 plus 4b square. Now take the numbers with the same sign that is these two. So plus 5 plus 4 when signs are the same Put the same sign and add 5 plus 4 is 9 minus 2 b square. Here signs are different so let's put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 9 minus 2 is 7. So that's 7 b square. Let's write it here. So plus 7 b square. Now let's go on to the next one that is a b. All the a b's. Let's take that minus 6 a b plus 3 a b minus 5ab. Take only the numbers minus 6 plus 3 minus 5ab. Now let's work on the numbers with the same sign minus 6 and minus 5. When signs are the same put the same sign and add 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 3ab. 
Here signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 11 minus 3 is 8. Minus 8AB. So let's write it here. Minus 8AB. So we've got our answer here. 10A square plus 7B square minus 8AB. Question 10. 1, 2, 3 expressions. Let's put it down into a single row. So x square plus x minus 2 plus 2x minus 3x square plus 5 plus 2x square minus 5x plus 7. Now let's open brackets. x square plus x minus 2 plus 2x minus 3x square plus 5 plus 2x square minus 5x plus 7. Now let's pick all the like terms. x square. Is there any other x square? Yes. Minus 3x square. And here also we have plus 2x square. Let's write it together. x square minus 3x square plus 2x square. Now next let's take the x terms. We have x here plus 2x minus 5x. So let's write it down. Plus x plus 2x minus 5x. Then we have whole numbers. Let's take it down. Minus 2 plus 5 plus 7. So that will be minus 2 plus 5 plus 7. So now let's work it out. We'll work out this first. Let's write it down. x square minus 3x square plus 2x square. So this is 1, remember. So let's put down our numbers. 1 minus 3 plus 2x square. Uh, let's add up the numbers with the same sign. Plus 1 and plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 3x square and 3 minus 3 is 0. So the answer here is 0. Now let's go on to the next one. We'll take all the x together. So we have x plus 2x minus 5x. So this is 1. So this will be 1 plus 2 minus 5x. So let's see how we work that out. Now here take the numbers with the same sign. So we have plus 1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 5 and we have x. Here signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2 minus 2x. Let's write it down. Minus 2x. Now let's take all the whole numbers here. So minus 2 plus 5 plus 7. Let's take the numbers with the same sign. So when signs are the same, we put the same sign and we add. So first let's write minus 2. Here signs are the same. Put the same sign and add. 5 plus 7 is 12. Here signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 12 minus 2 is 10. So what do we get here? Plus 10. So what is the final answer? Minus 2x plus 10. So this will be our final answer. Question 11. Now how many uh, expressions do we have here? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So let's write all four expressions now. So this is 4x to the power of 3 plus 2x square minus x plus 1 plus 2x cubed minus 5x square minus 3x plus 6 plus x square plus 8 plus 5x to the power of 3 minus 7x. Now there are so many expressions so we have to be careful. 4x to the power of 3 plus 2x to the power of 2 minus x plus 1 then plus 2x to the power of 3 minus 5x to the power of 2 minus 3x plus 6 then we have plus x square plus 8 plus 5x to the power of 3 minus 7x. Okay, now let's look for the like terms. x cubed, 4x cubed. Then we have 2x cubed. Then let's continue. We have plus 5x cubed. So let's write that down first. So that is 4x to the power of 3 plus 2x to the power of 3 plus 5x to the power of 3. So we finished with that. Now let's look for the x squares. 2x square minus 5x square 
plus x square. So let's write that down now. So that will be plus 2x square minus 5x square plus x square. Now let's go on to x minus x minus 3x minus 7x. So let's write that down now. So that's minus x minus 3x minus 7x. Now we have whole numbers. So let's look for the whole numbers here. That is plus 1. Then we have plus 6 and we have plus 8. So let's write that down. Plus 1, plus 6 and plus 8. Now we have to work out this. So let's work this out here. So here, as you can see, the signs are all the same. Plus 4, plus 2 and plus 5. So we can do this here itself. So signs are the same. Put the same sign and add. We just have to add up the numbers. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. So here we have 11x to the power of 3. So let's write that 11x to the power of 3. Now let's go on to this one. So here that one, let's write it here. 2x square minus 5x square plus 1x square. So let's put the numbers in brackets. So here we have 2 minus 5 plus 1x square. Let's take the numbers with the same sign. So here we have plus 2 and plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 minus 5x square. Signs are different. So let's put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2 minus 2x square. Let's write that, that, write that down. Minus 2x square. Let's go to the next one. So we have this. Minus x means minus 1x, minus 3x, minus 7x. Let's take only the numbers. Minus 1, minus 3, minus 7 and x. Here, signs are all the same. So put the same sign and add. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 7 is 11. So that's minus 11x. So minus 11x. Now the last one. The last one is just whole numbers. So we're going to take this. So 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15, and they're all plus signs of plus 15. So we've got a final answer, 11x to the power of 3 minus 2x to the power of 2 minus 11x plus 15. So this is our final answer. So we'll stop with this for now, children. Thank you.